Hello everyone. In previous session, uh, previous video, we have seen how to create a form based on a table by using form wizard. We just we clicked in that form and then it has created a form for us. So now in this session, we'll be looking at how to create a blank form and then link it to a table. So it will be helpful for you to understand how a form is linked to a table and then how to add the fields. We'll go for blank form, create a form with no controls or format, like this one. Now you can see it's a black form, blank form. So automatically this pop-up window comes up in 2013, show all tables, and then you can select this one, double click this one, student ID, whatever, if you want to have any fields, so you can take the fields. So, okay, now we'll go through a manual process. Open the form and design view. Open form properties. Okay. Reduce tools. Go to design. Click on property sheet. Data. Now for form we need to specify record source in the drop down list you can select any form uh, any table from which the data shall be displayed on this form so i have selected student table i can close this here now. now this is our detail area as i explained earlier that form header is something different detail is different detail is having all the controls or fields which will be getting data from table. Now I can click add existing fields. So student ID is appearing, student name, grade, session fee, city ID, country ID, and telephone. So one by one, we can drag the fields to the table, student name, or there is another way as well. Let's talk about, talk about this control which is a text box. Let me create a text box. Now you can see this text box is, now other text boxes are showing student ID, student name. But this text box is showing unbound. Unbound means it is not linked with any field of the table. So open this text box properties, property sheet, control source. Now student ID, student name is already there, so you can select grade ID. Now you can see from it has changed the status from unbound to the field name itself. That's a label comes whenever you create a text box automatically a label comes with that. Now we can edit that label. Grade. Okay. And of course, as you know, in previous sessions also, we have seen that you can give it a format also, whether to increase or decrease. Let's say align left, change as a special effect. Okay, let's save this form, and I will say FRM blank form example run this form form view and now you can see student id student name and grade is appearing there because this form is linked with the table student so one of six records the second third and now you can have a view as well that it's not mandatory to display all the fields of a table. Of course, you will be thinking that why, uh, if a field is there in a table, why should not be displayed here? The reason is very simple, based on requirements and the requisites. 
if this form is having personal information as well for the student or let's say if you are making a database for customs where only the the official record or the sales record should appear and personal record stays with uh, with some other departments because some of the information is very uh, sensitive like credit cards so credit cards the credit card number should only be held or by or can be seen by finance department no other uh, user is allowed to see that information because that's a sensitive information so the, in certain cases you can select different fields which fields need to be displayed and then as per the requirement you can create your form so this was all about how to create a blank form link it to the base table and then adds required fields thank you very much for this session